know why I feel this way Every day I wanna run away I think I'll go back to that place I stay Play on the server the time shot way Hello people, it's Poet We're back on Time Shot Now, today I don't really have Anything to talk about that's pre-planned. Uh, and even as it is... Like, you gotta just take into consideration right now that I just woke up. Like, not... I'm looking at the time um, 15 minutes ago. So, I've still got that... You know, that little bit of a... A sleepy... I still think... My brain still thinks, anyway that I'm still asleep. So I just I'll I'll, I'll power through this. <laughs> but I know that it'll already be difficult for me to concentrate on what I'm doing. Um I've been mostly building on time shot for the last about a week. I've been doing almost nothing but building. So what I wanted to do today was basically just continue building. Uh, I know that that's not the most interesting thing in the world. However, um, you're going to see it. <laughs> now, the reason I say that, of course, is because I've been doing so much building that I, I would hate to start doing it without you guys and getting too much done. And then being like, you guys see this world as it is, like this. And then when the world download comes in about, uh, from the day I'm, I'm recording this, about 20 days or so. Um, the new world download for the server, everything looks completely, completely different. And I don't like that a lot. You know, I, I want to show you guys the, the building updates. And guys like MK and Fabe... Uh, those two, almost specifically, Code as well in his episodes and such. Like, other people, you get to see what they're working on kind of as they do it. And for me, because I can't really talk too well, well, at the best of times, but I can't really talk too well uh, and concentrate on building, for me, I, I tend to do almost all of my building off-camera. Um, but... I think that I'll be able to do it today. I hope. I don't really have anything to talk about, so that makes it easier, right? It'll just be basically me building and you guys watching. And I'm going to see how that plays out. So, what I am doing, the first step, I had an idea. And this is how it always begins, right? Everything begins with an idea, obviously. But this idea is kind of a, a doozy if you will. Um, I'm going to get rid of all the trees here in this front area. And what I'm actually going to be doing is building a, uh, not a docks, but, well, I guess you could kind of call it a dock. It's not really a dock, but it is kind of thing. It's a dock, but not one that you'll like, that boats will be able to come back and forth from. I mean, where would you go on a boat in this lake, right? There's not really anything for a long ways. Uh, the water stops just about there, and the water stops just about there, I think. Like, what we could do, we could build a, a river that goes and cuts through all the way to the water that's over in that direction, but um, with the way that boats work... Whoops! I just walked right off the side. Um, with the way that boats work, that really wouldn't work in 1.8. Definitely. Um, in any case, what I want it to look like is kind of, I want the ground to kind of continue from this top area here. Now, I know that I'm in Swampland, but I think this is a 1.8 thing, that there's two types of Swampland. Like, there's this kind of Swampland, and then there's this gross brown kind of Swampland. Like, there's the two different shades. And luckily... Most of this area is a nice dark green swampland. Actually, is there like a difference in the biome? Like, is this okay? This one's called 
Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, biome swampland. If I go this way, well, no, it's still called swampland. There's really kind of no distinguishing it, but there's definitely a difference in the way that it looks. I even wonder if, like, the trees have something to do with it. Or if Swampland is just kind of different colors all over the place now. Like, if I go over here... No, no, look at that. Yeah, it's dark green here. Kind of a brownish color here. So it's kind of all over the place. It's ha so hard to figure out. In any case, the grass color is kind of not the most important. But at least where I'm building it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's nice, nice, rich, dark green for most of it. And then just this little portion here uh, is the, the brownish grass. So I think I'll settle for that. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is cut down these trees. And it kind of has a second, secondary purpose because I need this, this wood for a project of mine. I mean, I have... I opened up a chest at the very beginning of the episode, I think you guys noticed. And I was actually in there looking to see if I had any dark oak. And I do. Um, but not a whole lot. So this is only beneficial, just kind of grabbing some of this dark oak. Which is kind of funny because in the beginning of time, uh, time Shot, I had so much dark oak that I was literally burning it. It's like... I've got so much to spend that I'm burning it and making charcoal and all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, I don't have any left. I've burnt it all away. I've used it. So, have to get more. Getting dark oak, unfortunately, uh, isn't the most obvious and easy to gain anymore. Unless you're doing a huge amount of dark oak forest clearing, like over there or something. But we're not. So, I'm stuck cutting down my own trees anyway, I think. And that's kind of what sparked the idea. When I was kind of thinking that I had to cut down these trees, I was like, hmm, I wonder if there's something I could do to the front when those trees are gone. And that's when I got the idea to make um, kind of a big, it's not a dock, a pier maybe? Not a pier, I don't know. You guys will see. I basically just want kind of a uh, a raised up area by the water. So I guess it's kind of a dock. Up here. I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? I'm building a thing. Might not have a name. But it's a, it's a thing. And I'm building it. Okay. So cut this down. Is it getting dark already? At the beginning of the episode, I literally spammed the bed to to sleep, and that seemed like that day just went way fast. Way, way, way fast. Like, you can see in the chat, I spammed that, that bed. Now it's already nighttime? Again? That's annoying. Uh, actually, I don't have to go back up right this second. So I'll let it be day, um, sorry, nighttime. In the meantime, I started doing this in the middle of the the walkway because that's kind of what we've done everywhere. But I don't like it, and I think the reason is because maybe I'm just thinking, well, eh, you know what? Now it's it's too much, too much of a good thing, as they say. So I'm gonna rip out these these magenta pieces of glass. Put back the stone bricks that I had. I think that looks better. Just, you can't have too much of a good thing. Those magenta blocks, I love them. I love them to pieces. But... Too much of a good thing. Now, what I need to do is show you guys what I worked on. Now, as you know, I've been working on the donor room. I hope you guys know. I think you might know. I think in the last episode I showed Win this place, and I think that was in the video. But what I've done since then, um, these pillars are just about all done. So I've done this one, I've done these, I 
done this one, this one, and all on this side. This whole side is done, the pillars. So essentially I've got one, two left. That's it. If that's a double one, so maybe three left if you count it as three. I also started doing this. I finished the floor and I moved the checkerboard to the outside. And then everywhere there's a pillar, I made the checkerboard go to that pillar. So makes kind of a cool pattern, I think. And that's what I'm not done. I'm not done doing that, and that's why I need the dark oak. Ta-da! That's why. That's the only reason why. So even what I've got just in these two stacks, that's way more than enough. It's convenient that it was exactly two stacks. Um, I also got rid of the water that was there. I had that little kind of a, a fountain, water fountain type of thing. And what I was originally planning was to have lots of different water fountains and things like that. What I might end up doing is having them come off the walls, these walls instead, not this wall, but these walls, and being inside of these checkerboard areas, kind of have like, open these up and have deep pits filled with water or or something. And that's what I haven't decided yet. I think we're still in Swampland here. Yeah, I'm in Biome Swampland here. Uh, and probably this entire this entire thing is Biome Swampland. So if I put grass down, it'll be a chance to be that, or even trees for that matter. They'll be kind of brownish looking. Might not look that great. Maybe if I use jungle leave, you know. So anyway, that's kind of what I worked on. I sunk in the pillars there, made the, the patterns go kind of around them, which is nice, and just barely started kind of playing around with an idea that I could fill the rest of the wall with, because I have to do that too eventually. These pillars will only cover, you know, tiny little portions, tiny portions of the wall, but what am I going to do for the rest of the wall, like over here where my cursor is, and even up here, and you know, you got to have something. So I just started... I went all the way up with cobblestone on both sides, and then I did kind of a weird little pattern thing. But I'm just, I stopped doing that. It was 3 a.m., I think, when I was working on that. Uh, okay, so now here's the big project that I started working on, too. Yeah, this is the small project so far. Here's the big project. You can see it from this angle. Actually, I'll jump onto here. You can see it here. So underneath the bridge... I have a... I'm going to fill this entire bridge with this. Um, which actually, it looks like a lot, but it's not. Especially because a lot of it is just stacks of these stone brick uh, slabs. Uh, the other thing I thought about was maybe incorporating some new blocks. So instead of having stone brick... No, not stone brick slab. Um, stone slabs. These white stone slabs. And you can see that underneath underneath the other pillar, it goes kind of like that. So that's what under the pillar looks like. And this white slab will go all the way up. Hey, hold fast. Um, I like the way that these look. I played around with this design for, oh, I don't know, maybe an hour. <laughs> uh, and this is what I come up, came up with. It's not much. But trust me, it's an hour worth of planning because I couldn't decide what these side blocks would look like. I couldn't decide whether to have slabs just go all the way across. Um, I couldn't decide if I wanted blocks in the middle, where I wanted the glowstone. Like It was really, really a lot of thinking to get it to be kind of like that. Um, and I like it. I like the fact that the cobblestone is as prominent as it is because I think that cobblestone... It's kind of been given the bad rap because it's so easy to get and people make their crappy, you know, their first rugged house out of cobblestone or something just to save them from the night. And cobblestone gets kind of a bad rap, so that's why I've been incorporating it into my build. You can see it down there with the uh, cobblestone wall pieces, little wall fence pieces, and uh, the stair, uh, yeah, the stairs. That kind of thing. And, of course, it's incorporated on the top of the bridge over here. And now it's incorporated... Uh, oh, yeah, and up here, too. And now it's incorporated down there as well. I think that in moderation, within moderation, it looks 
really good. Like, I love the way that this looks. With the cobblestone and then just the, the stone brick beside it. It would look equally as good, actually, with just stone down these pillars. Looking at it from here. Um, which maybe is even something that I'll try. So why don't I? Hmm? Hmm? Why don't I try that right now? Uh, let's go down there. And this is how we do it. I'm actually going to break it like that. Do I even have stone? Yes, I do. All right. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Let's just break that. And I'll go down. Do I have a shovel? I broke all of my shovels. I had a diamond shovel and an iron shovel. And I broke both of them. And it's funny because I don't really have anything in this room to break them on. But they broke. Okay. I'll just do like that. That's the end, isn't it? There we go. Torch there. Just to light it up a little bit. And... Hmm. I have to say... That looks pretty slick. I love it. I love it. <laughs> now I'm going to have to do it all over the place. Ah! Just gave myself so much work. But I love that. And I'll tell you why. Um... It's because of the the simplicity of it, the simple fact that, you know, even just if it's this part right here where my cursor is at the top, how the stone brick actually makes it look like the stone brick is sort of raised a little bit, like it's just a little bit 3D, you know what I mean? And then it's really flat, a little layer lower than the stone brick it looks like, kind of in, in the visual realm. Uh, and then down here again, it looks like the stone brick is actually popping, you know? And that's what I really, really like. Uh, it has similar effect over here with the cobblestone, but obviously not not quite as prominent. I love that. So that's what I'm going to do. I also decided that these pillars needed the thing that goes all the way around them. Yep, need it. Uh, so what am I going to do in this episode for building? Uh, I want to finish the dock a little bit, but I figure maybe we'll, we'll finish one of these pillars so that you guys can kind of see what it takes to finish one of them. Uh, cause I don't think I did any of them on camera so far and they're just, there's so many of them and I'm always so, I love them so much. I am so proud of them and, uh, basically... <laughs> Not be able to show you guys me working on them. That's kind of disappointing. Let me do that. Uh, but first, I gotta take care of business here. Come back here. There we go. It. It. There he is. I think. Yeah, it's him. Come on down. Come on. I'm looking right at you. Come on, he's shaking like he hates me. Come on! Crap. Didn't work out. That's a shame. Nope, he does not care. He really does not care. That is so weird. Oh well, what is, what is with the lighting right here? Right there, what's with the lighting? Why is it in this shape? There's nothing there that's like... Oh, that's why. Oh, that's weird. Wow. The things above definitely affect the light level. I never really kind of realized that. Yeah, I guess, in a way, sort of, you can tell that the bridge is up there. Because of the glowstone lighting it down. I see. Just now I'm getting this. Man. Alright, but let's finish this off. Let's not take forever on it. Um, 
So basically the first thing I usually do, it's already been done, is place those two blocks. Done. Must have done them ages ago for some unknown reason. Uh, next I need more of them. So I'll go like this. And then across. This usually is laggy for me, so let me see if it works. Yeah, you see? I can't place this block. So weird. There. Now I could. Why? It's just a mystery. But it always does that to me. Okay, I can place this and then like... Oh, now that time it worked. Oh, now I can't. Oh, now I could. So... I didn't hear the, the block at place, but I... I think it's there. <laughs> lag. Maybe it's lag. I don't think it's lag because I can place every other block fine, but something to do with slabs and when you're pillaring across on them, when you're bridging with them, I mean. It's just something that they do. That's kind of weird. Uh, anyway. Uh, where are they? There they are. Right on my bar. Didn't see them. Go like this, and then with cobble wall like so and actually we can place that glowstone piece this is the only glowstone piece place it down right there and kind of light up our day while we work take the spruce wood that we love so much and go up to the glowstone with it just like so just like that now I need to do the cobble stairs around it so I need scaffolding as everybody in Minecraft calls it, need scaffold. This is much easier doing this single pillar. This is why I chose to do this one on camera rather than those. Because everything you do here, you have to do double when you do the the double pillar, obviously. Um, and doing things like the cobble stairs, having to scaffold all the way around it definitely take some time there we go that looks right right yeah right okay go up and now these again kind of just like this uh, from here I'll go like this and like that and essentially what that's, the only reason I put those there at this point is so that I have something to put my cobble wall off of. I go around like this. Like this. This is going well so far, actually. Uh, as I built them, obviously, it gets easier and easier and easier and easier. Uh, and now off of here, I need to go like a uh, building recording. Let me see here. How does this look? That's right. That's right. That's right. How come? Uh oh. This is not right. Something here is not right. Something here is wrong. How come we're sticking out too far? <laughs> How come we're sticking out too far? This is not right. That's right. Isn't it? Let me... No. No, it's not. This isn't right. Let me just look here at what we got. Okay, behind me should be a stone brick and a cobble wall. It Okay, they're they're there, but they're one down. Why are they one down? No, that makes sense. Okay, stone brick, cobble wall. And the stairs sit on top. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why did we do that? Why did we do that? And that messed up the entire top layer. 
instead of going across here, we went one wider out. So that sucks. Oops. Well, it doesn't matter if I place anything there. Um, that sucks. That means we gotta redo all this up here. It's alright. But that's kind of why all these walls take so long. A lot of it is because I screw something up. And I don't realize it until I'm like... I'm placing a part of the design that I've memorized. Because I've memorized this entire design. And I'll place a part of the design that relies on synchronized block placing or something. Like, it, it it relies on symmetry. That's what I mean. Not synchronized block placing. Symmetry. And if something is not symmetrical, if something's asymmetrical, <laughs> then that's when I get really confused. So the thing that did it for me was the fact that Actually, I guess I could have kept those two. Um, the fact that what I have over there, you can see it uh, far away. I got stone slab, a staircase, stone slab. And then a staircase, stone slab, staircase, stone slab. So when I saw that I had a gap of two, that's not right. But unfortunately, it only happened when I was all done this whole thing. Now I curve it in. There we go. It's starting to look better. Yeah, this even looks better. I don't know why I didn't really catch on sooner, to be honest. Because it, it is a significant difference. Let me go up. Yes, this feels better. All is well in the universe now. And then this. This is what did it. This is how I knew. Because I went to place these and it didn't make sense. And this pillar is a done. This pillar's done! You hear me? Um, the last thing that I do to finish it off, because I don't know why I don't build it into my memory that these are supposed to be there, is something like... Hold on, let me see if I can reach it. Right got to place it like right there there's one man that was hard to place and this one will be easier there and then I have to do the same thing a few blocks down but I can do that from the ground that's why I used up my shovels was because of all the scaffolding that's exactly why Okay, so I'm done this pillar. Dig, 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 dig. Now the block that I needed to place was right at there. Got it. Yep, and just like that. Little details, everybody. That's what matters. There. See? It's done. It's done. It's good. Alright. So I'll step back. Take a second look at it. Kind of just make sure that it's alright. And it is. Looks like the others. I'm happy. You can look at this one. This one. Back and forth. They're the same. Oh, no, they're not. Ha-ha! Look at this. That's not done. They're the same. No, they're not. Uh, and then I'll just do like this. Uh, like that. There. Now it's done. <laughs> but that's why it's always good to double check. Look at it again from back. Looks really nice. I love this design so far. And I think as I pointed out, earlier. I have already started with the... Well, maybe I didn't point that out earlier. But... This is done too. This side looks good. Looks good. Yeah. Looks good. But I've already started up here. Kind of on the next... What I'm going to be doing. Um, I was going to start. So the next thing that I'll do... Maybe continue with the spruce wood... 
um, because the spruce wood kind of stops there, has this kind of interior thing, and then I was going to continue it spruce wood up a little bit, um, and I have these cobble walls and those kind of just crowning the top right now. But then I stopped because I realized, you know what, I should really finish this first. Uh, don't get too ahead of myself in any other project, you know? It's always a good idea. Um, I'm going to just throw out all of this for now. I think what I'll do, kind of to finish off the episode, I'm going to make myself a good shovel. Uh, you can see what I've got inside of this box. Is doing pretty good. 12 blocks of diamond. Good. Um, I got rubber booties. Feather falling 4. Projectile protection 4. Unbreaking 3. And I'm going to eventually combine them with these ones, I think. Or, yeah. It's one of these. These two are going to combine. Because uh, I like the Depth Strider 2. Depth Strider, if you don't know what it's like, let me just grab those and I will show you guys. Um, make a shovel first. Because I'm going to be doing some digging. Alright, let's go for it. Let's go. Let's go. These Depth Strider boots, if you haven't seen what Depth Strider does, it makes you run fast in water. I think I explained that to Win. Um, and it really is, it is apparent when it happens. It's just amazing. Did you see that? I'll show you, I'll show you when we're in the water. I'd sleep if Holdfast wasn't on. Five deaths. Catching up. That cave noise, where, where's there, there's no cave around here, is there? Shouldn't be. <laughs> Hope I didn't leave a area that was a little bit too dark, but look at this. You see how fast I'm moving in this water? Check that out. Isn't that amazing? I essentially... As fast as I can run, I walk into the water and I run the same speed in the water. I stride the depths. Like, look at this. It's much more apparent when I'm along the shore. I'm in the water, guys! <laughs> like, I just... I love it. I love it. I'm glad that the durability doesn't wear out or some crazy thing like that when you're in the water. It would really, really, really upset me. Um, I'm going to take them off, though, because I don't want them getting damaged when I'm going to combine them with something else. So that's why I've been using these rubber booties with Feather Falling 3. Um, they're just the, the kind of good enough quotes uh, they're just good enough they're my work boots gotta have a pair of work boots uh, let's get rid of this tree here so I guess I gotta get rid of the trees first but I think I'll end the episode there we didn't do too much just kinda cut down a tree and then I showed you around the the underground and we built a pillar didn't talk about anything. But you know what? I felt like that kind of an episode for once. Like, hello, this is Vanilla Minecraft. So what I'm going to be doing, you'll probably see it by the next episode, is, and why I grabbed the shovel, so I'll show you that, is what I'm going to do is kind of start from here. I'll probably have to move the caged-in beast. Sorry, guy. I have to move you. But what I'm going to do is kind of just Take the water and kind of cut a straight channel. Maybe kind of curve it, have like a waviness to it. And it's going to cut this way, basically all the way over to here, over to the water. And then just straight that way. So I'll probably have to cut into here a little bit too. Um, just kind of to, to get it looking right. I'll maybe grab a bucket with some water. To, to fill in all the spaces, but apart from that, um, it's going to be a lot of fun to build this giant, kind of a, an overlooking dock type of thing, and what I ultimately want, I guess the entrance to the dock will be maybe right up here or something, like I'll have to build kind of a walkway, or I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. 
I haven't thought that far ahead. Like, it's one thing to have a giant dock <laughs> that comes off of the side here and looks nice, but where will the entrance to that dock be? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> so I'll figure that out before I do too much work on it and continue working down in the basement in the donor room. Now, I guess to end off the episode, I'll just remind you guys, because I haven't had a donation in, I think, months now, uh, that 50% of donations do go to charity. Uh, it's kind of a, a run running thing that we got going on this channel where the donations don't go to me, they go to charity as well. 50% um, of them, so that's just the way it is. Um, just like 50% of the Amazon gift card thing, the Amazon gift exchange wish list thing, 50% of the value goes to charity. And the other 50%, the one that goes to me, uh, is entirely for for things that are necessary in life, like uh, electricity and food and things like that. Not so much food, because it's like, yeah, my fancy restaurant that I went to. But no, like uh, buying bread, milk, you know, the ability to survive. That's what it's for. Not for trips to Minecon, not for, not for you know, anything like that. That's kind of secondary uh, and paid out of my own pocket. But I'll end the episode there, so thank you guys for watching. Share this video on Twitter or Facebook. Subscribe if you haven't already. And do all those other awesome things you'd be able to do. And we'll see you next time on Time Shot, where we'll, we will probably have a topic. Um, ooh. Wait a minute. Hold everything. Hold it. I can make fence now. I can make... Where did... There it is. Hold everything. Does this make like dark? No. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We will see you next time on Time Shot. Bye bye.